All right, I'm inside my enclosed cargo trailer. Of course, you know, this is my transfer switch. It's a double pole, double throw switch. Uh, up is line and down is inverter. And of course, line is either show power or generator. Depends, depends on what you plug the outside up to. And down is the inverter that's under here. This is rated for 20 amps, I think it is. And this is rated for 30 amps. So I'm gonna swap it out. This is not as straightforward as far as the wiring as this is. This which is, all right, you see you got that black screw there and that black screw there. So that is your, those are your, we're going to put the load on that, all right? So we're going to put either one. We're going to put black or hot and white or neutral. So black, neutral, or, well, black, white, or hot, neutral, or vice versa. We could put the hot here and the neutral here, or black here, white here. It doesn't make a difference, all right? And these two are what's going to be switching. It's going to switch between, so this is going to be the load here. It's going to switch, it's going to give the load power from either here, this leg from, well, not leg, but it's going to switch the hot from here or here. It's going to switch the neutral from here or here. So again, the hot is going to switch from, from, this is going to be the hot. It's going to switch from here or here and the neutral right here. Is going to switch from here or here uh, as far as the labeling again the load is going to be l1 and it's going to switch between b1 and a1 the neutral is going to be l2 and it's going to switch between b2 and a2 or vice versa as far as the hot and the neutral again it doesn't make a difference all right so let's go ahead and wire it up all right so now the load is wired all right this what this right here is the load so the load has a hot a neutral and a ground just like before just like when we use this switch you twist all your grounds together i mean you could do it like just here and here and twist the neutrals together but i don't like that i like to switch the neutrals and the hots so if I'm switching from one source, I want to switch the hot and the neutral from one source to the next. So I'm switching everything for this, so there's no chance of getting anything crossed up. So I, again, I like to switch the neutrals and the hot, like a true transfer switch. All right, so again, if you got a Leviton switch, you, your L1, you can put the black or the white in there. Your L2, you could let me cut this thing off just cut that piece of thing off with a utility knife anyway that's l1 that's l2 you could put your hot in either l1 or l2 you could put your neutral into either l2 or l1 it makes no difference the only thing that makes a difference is where you put the sources so one of these is from my transfer switch that's inside the trailer on the here right there and the other one is from my is from a show power or generator, a bit basically plugging in, plugging in from outside. This right here. All right. I like to have show power up and inverter down. So I'm about to figure out which one is which. I, I basically pull on them. I tug on them to see which is which, and, and then I go from there. All right, it's all wired up, and those are hot, okay? I know it sounds confusing, and it looks confusing, but now I have, instead of this small 20 amp switch, I have that big, uh, that big 30 amp switch. It's a heavy duty switch. Uh, show power is plugged in. And the inverter is on. See, no light, nothing's there. 
and nothing is on the DVD because this is in the off position, it's in the middle. If I go up, it's going to be shore power. And this, that should turn green. Yep. And the DVD player is on. See? If I go in the middle, that green light should go off. It takes a while because it's an adapter. And there it is. It's off. If I go down because the inverter is on, see the inverter is on. See, if I push this down, that green light should come back on. And there it is. Now, since I'm an inverter now, if I turn off the inverter, that green light should go off. Okay, it's going to take a minute. And there it is. So everything was, everything's wired correctly. All right, I'm going to turn the inverter back on and the green light should come back on. Inverter's back on. And the green light just came back on. Everything's wired properly. And again, I feel better with this heavy duty switch. I need to stop touching that. Because that's like, again, this is hot. But that's how you could wire a uh, double pull, double throw uh, switch uh, as a transfer switch, an actual transfer switch instead of this little thing right here. All right, you get more, run more amperage through that thing, more current through it safely. All right, I just finished. So I got 120 volt inlet that's the outside so it could be shore power generator a solar generator gas generator whatever and the inverter so all the way up all the way up is the inlet on the outside and all the way down is the inverter so you just gotta put my tools away and clean up i think that's i think it's cool that i could uh that i got my youtube going in here now i'm using a uh Chromecast and we've always had a bunch of Chromecasts, the new style and the old style so instead of uh buying a smart tv I, again i got this tv for free so just plug the Chromecast in it boom instant smart tv